All right, Remy wanted me to talk to you guys. Tell them, Remy, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the fear index and how it correlates on over to the overall market. So um, just wanted to make sure you guys got a little update on Remy and how big she's been getting. Uh, but one of the things that I quickly wanted to talk about is what is considered the fear index. It's VIX. It follows the S&P 500. Um, and I actually had a question be asked to me today at the HQ. So the HQ is um, a facility. It's my headquarters here in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, it's a facility that I opened the doors to for all of our Learn Plan Profit members. And we had one of our members come in and ask me, like, how was I able to anticipate the market getting ready to pull on back? I mean, uh, that's based off of the video that I uploaded yesterday. And I've Again, I'm never 100% right all the time. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, please understand that. With that being said, one of the, not just indicators, we talked about the resistance on the overall NASDAQ market on the day chart with the EMA line. But another thing that I cross-reference is the VIX. And what you need to understand is when the VIX rises, fear is being injected into the market. And what is 2022, right? A bunch of fear, right? Inflation at a 40 year high, interest rates rising. And with the report that came out today, uh, we talked a little bit about it. It's the CCI report. And as soon as it was released, it just sent the overall market into a straight spiral, downward spiral. And again, one of the indicators or one of the indexes that I uh, encouraged our Learn Plan Profit group to pay attention to uh, was the VIX and the VIX rises when the market begins to drop and then when the VIX drops markets begin to rise so that's the correlation that I want you to understand with that being said if I look at the overall it's harder to see on the day chart not to, not really but the thing that I always try to pick up on are patterns and this is for the whole year of 2022 right and we can see that yeah there are some times that it does surpass this level of 34 but it doesn't really hold up here for a very long period of time, right? It might shoot up for a day, but then it quickly corrects itself. It's very safe to say that there's a common resistance range right around 34 for the for VIX. And there's a very common support range right here, right around 27. I actually made a video referencing the VIX. I think it was last Friday or the previous Friday, making sure that you guys were aware of what it was. And the reason I began to talk about this is because we were previously right around 34 and then we began to show signs of a resistance. Just like, again, going back to the day chart, every single time, like clockwork, right? Patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. But like clockwork, every time that it would hit 34, it would get rejected. It would hit 34, it would get rejected. It would hit 34, it would get rejected. It would get close to 34, it would get rejected. It hit 34, it got rejected. Now looking at, uh, looking at this on you know the one hour time frame, we can see things a little bit more clear that today, not only with the data that was released, but it made sense technically, not just fundamentally and not just news wise, but it made sense technically that we were at a critical support range, right around 26 to 27 for the VIX. This has been a previous support range where we see a lot of signs of a support around this general range. And then it tends to recover back to that same 30, uh, 34 uh, price point. And the reason this is important to understand is, well, how does this correlate on over to the stocks that we choose to trade? Well, any time that the VIX begins to rise, like we said, the markets begin to fall. And again, please do your own technical analysis. Do this on your own time, right? Be able to see if it actually makes sense to you. But we could see that all of last week, right? The markets have been rising. And guess what has been happening to the VIX? The VIX has been dropping. This is why in the video that I made on Friday, I encouraged you guys to take time and understand how the VIX correlates to the overall market performance. And when it sells off enough, it tends to establish its support level and then it begins to rise, at least consistently for the past couple of months for 2022. The market's been more bearish than bullish and there's been a lot of fear that's been injected into the market. The reason I'm sharing this with you is I thought that you can just simply utilize the VIX and how I correlate on over um, you know, when fear is being injected. And by understanding that correlation, you can then make 
better decisions or more informed decisions of maybe when the VIX is high of like, hey, this might be a range of when I might want to prepare to be able to buy a stock, right? Because when the VIX is high, that means that we might be you know showing signs of a resistance pretty soon. Or maybe when the VIX is low to understand that, hey, we're at a potential support level for the VIX. By understanding that, maybe I'll be a little bit more selective instead of trying to aggressively trade when we're at a potential support level and then if the VIX begins to rise, then the markets begin to drop. And by understanding the oversold and overbought levels of the VIX, this can give you a better edge of maybe when to be more aggressive and maybe less aggressive with the different trades or investments you choose to take. And again, it's like clockwork. If we look at ticker symbol TQQQ, I mean, we broke this thing down on Friday as well, right? I talked to you guys about that resistance level on the day chart, right? That EMA line every single time since the beginning of 2022. It tries to push up, gets rejected, tries to push up, it gets rejected, tries to push up, it gets rejected. Only one time it broke above again and then Russia attacked Ukraine and then it sold off, sold off, sold off, rejected, rejected. You think out of what we've experienced for the past six months, I'm gonna be surprised that it gets rejected? No, I would be more surprised that after 10 rejections, if you think for a second, that this time it won't happen, right? Patterns tend to repeat themselves, I agree. They don't always have to, right? With that being said, it is so, so important for you to understand when you can be in a condition to trade aggressively and when you should be in a condition to be more conservative. In my opinion, during these bear markets, I am in a condition to be more selective not aggressive or super aggressive with positions, especially when overall direction is not in my favor. I really hope that you learned something new uh, from that correlation of the VIX and how it influences the overall market, especially as people consider it as the fear index. One of the last things that I want to share with you is after we wrapped up uh, the CCI report today, one of the things that I brought up is tomorrow Jerome Powell is going to be speaking 30 minutes before the market opens. If you want to join me for this live session, all you literally have to do is drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel. To make sure that you get alerted, turn on that post notification bell. It will alert you when it is that I go live. If you want to guarantee that you get the link from when I go live, the first link down below is my free trading group chat and I send an announcement right before I go live. You don't have to join, but if you want to, you can connect with over 40,000 members. It's free. And again, that's that first link down below. Friendly reminder, our iPad Air giveaway ends in just three days, including today. We're giving away an iPad. Our last giveaway winner for a brand new iPhone bought a mouse pad. And right now what we're doing is triple the entries. So for every $1 you spend for the next three days, it equals 15 automatic entries. And again, it only takes one lucky entry to be this month's giveaway winner. So you guys can click the fourth link down below, select your favorite items. It can be trading mouse pads, it can be art. And for every $1 you spend, it equals 15 automatic entries. An example, some of our aluminum art can earn you up to 1,800 points. And again, that's just with one purchase. So. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me via Discord. Again, this is all available at shoptechbuds.com or click the fourth link in the description. I'm excited to see you guys during your, uh, Jerome Powell's um, speech tomorrow. And again, that is 30 minutes before the market opens. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.